So before we start building out our store and marketing and all that, one of the most important things that you're going to need to do is a little bit of market research and to see if you can find products that actually have some viability. Now, regardless of whether you're selling it on Amazon's platform or eBay or your own Shopify store, like I'm going to show you in these videos, one place that I really like to start is Amazon, because if there was any place in the world that gave you pure data on the supply and demand of a niche market or niche product, it's going to be Amazon. And you can do a lot of this using Amazon's bestseller ranking. Now, if you didn't already know, Amazon takes every single product in its categories, and it has like, I don't know, 20 something categories, and it ranks them from one to infinity based on how much sales velocity and how often a product in its catalog is actually selling. So, for example, if you were the number one product in toys, you might sell up to 9,000 units per month of your toy. Now, of course, Amazon doesn't give away exactly how many units of something selling, but fortunately, there's plenty of cool little tools that can help you figure that out. Now, one of the big tools that I like to use is this little button here called Jungle Scout. You can see it up towards the top. It's a Chrome extension, which means it's built into my Chrome browser. So when I click the button, it'll function. Another is called Keepa which builds directly into the page. And I'll demonstrate how both of these work to help you doing market research. Now, when I wanna get started with something, uh, a product idea, I usually think about what my Shopify store is gonna be able to do. Now, we're gonna be using the Printful application, which if you're not familiar with Printful, Printful lets you create products such as t-shirts and mugs and hats and all kinds of different things. Uh, with your own designs on them and then once an order is made they actually make the item for you and ship it so keeping in mind the kind of things that Printful can do we're gonna look for products something like that so today I want to start off with something um, pretty simple I, I have a dog I love my dog so I want to start looking at maybe mugs with dogs on them so we'll go to Amazon here and we'll search dog mugs and I'll show you the exact kind of process to search supply and demand on Amazon and how it relates to your Shopify store. Go through the whole process. Now, I'm not saying you have to do dog mugs, but kind of get the same idea. Whether, you know, you want to make t-shirts that have Doctor Who or dogs or, you know, Mustang cars or political, you know, whatever you want to do or you know, t-shirts or hats or whatever, use kind of the same process, just kind of works, figure out something that works with you. And you're gonna go through a couple different things trying to find something, you know, you, you're not always gonna land on the perfect thing right away, but over time, hopefully you'll get an idea of some products that have high demand, or in other words, they're selling a whole lot on Amazon with low competition or they don't have a lot of people that are actually selling the product. Now, here we've got some cool stuff on here. You can see I love my Husky, I love my Boxer. It looks like it's the same company, and you can see it's Mugvana doing both. Um, those are advertised ads, so you can see the sponsor. It's just, so Mugvana is actually paying for advertising here. But then we look at some other stuff. These are actually organic ranking, which means they naturally appear towards the top thanks to the amount of sales volume that they have. You've got all the details here that you really need from this. This gives you the idea of the reviews. Fortunately, the reviews aren't really that high. Um, you can tell a lot about a product category by its relative number of reviews and how many competitors are in it. Typically, products that have a low number of reviews mean that they're either not selling a lot or it's a relatively new competitor and they were able to move up to the front of the line pretty quick. And as you can see, 142 for this dog mom, which is Amazon's choice, of course, uh, <laughs> thanks to the high reviews, all at five stars, uh, um, has 142, but you can see there's a lot of lower ones here. There's some that don't even have reviews. So this is all in all a pretty good sign. Now the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, which you can find a link below this video for it. It's, it's a terrific app. I definitely recommend if you're going to do any kind 
of sales online, whether it's using Amazon or Shopify, you should probably invest in this little tool. Uh, it costs about $97, but it's a one-time fee and it will save you hours of work. Uh, I've created a couple of videos on it before, but anyways, let me show you how it works real quick. All I gotta do is click the button here on the search page and it will immediately start loading up all the information that it finds on this page by product name, brand, price, category, the average rank, uh, the number of estimated sales that have come through, uh, the revenue that these items are generating, the number of reviews, the average rating, and the seller, whether or not it's an FBA seller, which means somebody like you and I who just are sending our inventory to Amazon and they're doing all the work for us, or Amazon themselves, that's what the AMZ means, or um, Merchant Fulfilled, which is somebody who lists their products on Amazon but sends it out themselves. So anyways, let's take a quick look at this information. Pretty good data here. You can see 118 average monthly sales. Average sales rank is 95,000, and that looks to be mostly in the home and kitchen categories. Not a great rank, but still not totally terrible. The average price is around $13 or so. That's pretty low for Amazon. And if you were to sell this products on Amazon, 13 is usually not where you're gonna to wanna to be because you're gonna have a hard time competing after Amazon's fees, your cost of goods, and your advertising costs. But a real big thing to look at here is your average number of reviews is only 37, which is really the best piece of information we have here. There's not a lot of competitors that are in this field selling dog mugs and you can see if you look here some of these like this top entry here the funny mug um, this first one here you know is selling an estimated 388 units a month on a rank of 12,000 that's just that's fantastic so this might give you an idea of a, a cool mug to make so you you Picasso was known of saying uh, good artists, good artists borrow, great artists steal. Um, I'm not saying to totally rip off and plagiarize this person's product, but you know you can tell a lot by this. It has very simple design; anybody can make. You can see that it, they're only selling it for $10.99, so the low price probably helps. It's got you know some decent reviews, 40 reviews at 4.5. Nice little product. Uh, let's look for another good idea. Our name is Mud Dog Mom. So there's the Dog Mom one again. Again, low price. You can see they're selling 246 units a month in the kitchen and dining category. Amazon's selling this one directly. But still, this is something that people want to buy, right? This gives you an idea. So when you're designing your products later on, look at what's selling. Uh... Let's find one more example and we'll move on. So here's one with 179, Dean Russo, Dog Pit Bulls. So where is that one? Uh, okay. Okay, so this one next, this really pretty image of a pit bull. Pit bull is a nice niche market. Lots of people who love pit bulls. Low price again you can see 179 units a month. So we're getting a lot of information here from Amazon and we're getting an idea of what kind of designs work. And these are all simple designs, things that anybody can make. Now, after I've collected a little bit of information from Amazon, and remember, get a few different product ideas. Don't just grab the first thing you see. You're gonna wanna look for stuff that's looks like it's selling you know, 100 to 200 units a month on Amazon. Uh, it's got impulse buy prices, so you know around that seems to be everything's priced. You know, just a little bit over ten dollars, but not quite past fifteen. You don't want to go crazy with them. Um, simple designs, people love dogs, easy stuff. We're gonna go to KW Finder next, and KW Finder is a cool tool which takes search engine information uh, on search terms and ranks it against the number of people going up against it. So we're gonna do a search for dog mugs again on KW Finder. And you're gonna get a ton of information here, but really you wanna pay attention over here to your uh, left-hand side. And you can see that it's created a, a ton of just fantastic stuff. It tells you the market trends on items. So over here, this is probably the beginning of the year, maybe even last Christmas season. Your search terms, you've got 880 people a month searching for dog mugs. 
cost per click, that's the average. If you were to advertise your product, this is the average cost for that. So it's around 56 cents. Now that's now keeping in mind if you're selling a 10 to 15 dollar product, that's a little bit high. That's okay. That you can see it's very competitive. Uh, the PPC rating is your maximum, so competing on ads on this is probably going to be a mistake on this keyword term. And then the difficulty is finally the actual number of competitors and pages that you're going up against and how optimized they are against the term dog mugs. You can see over here on the right hand side, they break it down a little bit more for you per the individual keyword. You see 26 out of 100 is easy. Uh, they give you a little cheat sheet here for your SEO difficulty to see easy. You know, you definitely don't want to be towards the higher numbers where it says, don't do it. <laughs> um, yeah, you see December 2016 search volume jumps up to 2000. So that gives you an idea of when to, you know, jump in, you know, going into a Christmas market. Obviously, you're going to have a lot more of these selling and impulse buys. Then it breaks down all of these search engine results. Uh, you see lots of Etsy, lots of people creating their own custom stuff here. Not too hard to compete with. Their rankings are kind of low. They're not really optimized for this stuff. So there's definitely an opportunity to build, you know, just a site on dog mugs and already jump in competitive based on this KW Finder information. KW Finder is a great tool. There's a little bit of monthly cost with it, but when you're setting up stores, and I say stores plural because they're so cheap and so easy to set up. I'm constantly searching for it. Plus, you're going to be doing a lot of blog writing and content management. It's a great tool to have. I've, I've used, you know, uh, Google's keyword analysis tools. I've used Facebook Audience Insights. None of it is nearly as good as this little tool here. And you can see it's giving you tons of stuff. Dog coffee mugs as you know, half the number of searches. Um, dog travel mugs, pet mugs. You know, lots of opportunity, dog coffee cups, all of it's green, 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 dachshund gifts. So, heck, you could even get into uh, the individual breeds. Uh, remember, we saw that pit bull mug. So, let's see if we can find. Oh, no keyword suggestions for pit bull. Let's see, pit bull mug. Okay, so pit bull mug. Remember that one we saw earlier? 260 searches on that guy a month. Again, a spike in December even easier than some of the other stuff, pug mugs. So you can really start targeting individual categories for when you start creating your dog mugs or whatever product is you create. So that's KW Finder. Finally, we wanna go over here to Instagram. Instagram is eventually where we're gonna be doing a lot of our marketing. It's a free source of marketing. It's very easy to build followers. It's easy to automate. It'll drive a ton of traffic and it's great for impulse people who are scrolling through the photos looking for cool stuff. We want to see, let's just do some search for some hashtags right away. Dog mugs, 680 posts. You have people just showing off their stuff here. Easy to compete with here. You know, you've got 162 likes to compete with to get to the top spot. Very, very simple. Let's see how old this post is too. This post is from last November. Last November. So 162 puts you at the top spot of dog mugs. Um... Let's see, we had a pit bull mug. This will all be helpful later on when you're doing um, advertising and stuff. So here's one, it's got 600 likes, but I mean, again, this is from September. Uh, let's see what else we gotta compete with. Yeah, October 2nd, 2016. So again, you know, little niche hashtags to get in on. Pictures of dogs, pictures of, you know, <laughs> attractive people holding cups. You can see here too, you've got people marketing their stuff, getting plenty of likes, totally owning the category. I mean, all you're seeing is this, and, and you know this is from 42 minutes ago, and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. So later on, and I'll go into it more when we set up our Instagram account, you can see that you can really own some categories on Instagram. So that's about it. You know, you start off with Amazon using a tool like Jungle Scout, and you know, I, I mentioned Keepa too. Let me show you Keepa real quick. Keepa's free, so uh, it can help you out a little bit more if you don't want to, you know, go for Jungle Scout. Though I do recommend Jungle Scout because it does make <laughs> the whole process a million times easier. 
So you can see I've got Keepa loading up. Keepa is another extension that you can put in your system that will actually break out all the information like Jungle Scout did, but it's more geared towards an individual product and also gives you kind of lifetime data on it. And here you can see all that orange right there, that's Amazon selling the product. You've got the average new price over time, average used price over time, and then the sales rank looking kind of like a stock chart. Um, if you look at, oh, let's take it back a year. You can see in December the sales rank and the lower, remember the better, you see the sales rank right here is really low. So these things are selling like crazy and they'll do the same on your Shopify store as well. So uh, I use them both as a combination because it really helps me figure out the, not just the overall image like I did with the dogs uh, using Jungle Scout, but it also gives me a snapshot of the individuals with Keepa to help me say, okay, when are these products popular? When am I gonna make the most amount of money? Interestingly, look right here, there's a big dip sometime in May. So cool information you can learn from that as well.